It's just your turn. Of course her parents don't have a problem with me being black. She's past the wall. Get your fat ass off the couch, start lifting weights, and learn game. You're welcome. So you got drunk at a frat party, then fucked the football team? You're not a rape victim, sweetheart. You're a slut. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 385th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is Monday, December 24th, 2018. It is Christmas Eve. Yes, I will be on the air tomorrow, Christmas Day. I will have Devin on the show fielding questions from patrons. Uh, we actually, we already have quite a few questions. Um, I think something like 20 or something, probably like 20, 25. But uh, that should be a fun show. Um, I've gotten a lot of complaints from a lot of guys I don't give a fuck about who say, you talk about Devin too much. I don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. I talk about what I want to talk about, who I want to talk about. If you got a problem with it, go watch somebody else. Fuck you. <laughs> we are presented by 1821manmade.com. You are a one-stop shop for all of your beard grooming needs. They're not a bargain brand beard bong company that wants every man to buy their products. They only want men who take their facial grooming seriously. So go to 1821manmade.com and step up your beard game. All right, let's get right to it. Most of you guys have seen my before and after picture. If you guys watch my show regularly, every once in a while, you'll see it pop up over my shoulder. But for those who haven't, here it is. Okay? On the left, that is me at 312 pounds. And on the right is what I look like now. Now, when people saw this picture, they asked me the usual questions. How'd you do it? Did you do the keto diet? Did you do intermittent fasting? Did you lift heavy? How much cardio did you do? How long did it take you? How do you keep the weight off? Et cetera, et cetera. Well, the answer to all of those questions is yes. I did it all. I did the keto diet. I ate clean. I did intermittent fasting. Lifted heavy. Did cardio. I did all that stuff. Most importantly, I did them all consistently. Every diet works, guys. Every exercise program and weight lifting regimen works. All you have to do is do them consistently. A lot of guys like to say shit like, keto doesn't work, or this program didn't work, or don't waste your money on this exercise program. But the truth of the matter is, is that they didn't do it consistently. They were on and off. Didn't really do it every day. Didn't really follow the directions and made modifications. And before they knew it, they gave up and blamed the program when they should have just looked in the mirror. Anyway, yes, I did all of it consistently. And that was one of the main reasons I was able to shed the weight and get in the best shape of my life. But the X factor, by far and away has been testosterone replacement therapy. TRT is a game changer, guys. It is the X factor. The benefits are innumerable. More muscle, less fat, stronger sex drive, more energy, more alertness, better focus, the list goes on. Testosterone replacement therapy, in one respect, is quite literally the fountain of youth. The other half is HGH. I'll probably do a show on that here pretty soon. I don't know, probably within the next couple months. Yes, guys, that's what it is, okay? It takes a guy in his mid to late 30s and turns him into what he was in his early 20s. But this will be a better version because now you've got more facial hair, you've got more experience, you understand what's really going on. And listen, man, let's be clear here. Guys, I'm not talking about testosterone boosters. You see guys like Bo Jackson and Frank Thomas hawking on TV. Don't buy that shit. It's fucking garbage. Listen, love Bo Jackson. Love Frank Thomas, the Hall of Famer. But that's bullshit. That stuff is bunk. It's garbage. Listen, that stuff isn't going to boost your testosterone, period. 
And even if it did, it's not going to boost it anywhere near the levels where it actually matters. It might take you from 300. It might take you from 300 nanograms per deciliter to maybe 305. Real talk. The only way to boost your testosterone enough to matter is either the testosterone gel prescribed by doctors, which isn't nearly as impotent, nearly as potent as injections, and number two, injections. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to give you guys my personal experience with TRT, and I'm going to cover everything from A to Z. I'm going to talk about how it affects me. I'm going to talk about how it might affect you. Might talk about the pros, cons, what to expect, the supplies you need, and so forth. I'm also going to debunk a lot of the myths and misconceptions about TRT. So if you happen to be one of the gentlemen who is on the feds about testosterone replacement therapy, this episode should help you to make an informed decision one way or another. My opening rant is brought to you by Happy Hippo Herbals, home of the highest quality, the highest grade kratom, rather, on the planet, Happy Hippo Kratom will elevate your mood, make you fearless around women, and gives you a relaxed energy that only the purest Kratom can provide. Go to happyhippoherbals.com now and save 20% when you pay with Bitcoin. Yes, that includes your shipping, happyhippoherbals.com. If you want to support the show, you can do so through the Streamlabs link. I'm actually putting it into the chat right now www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp 1 www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number 1 I don't take Super Chat number 1 because YouTube takes 30% off the top which is wise of them to do and number 2 I would have to monetize my channel which means more scrutiny on my channel I want to make sure that I can put myself in the best position to stay on the air and listen, man, monetizing my channel is definitely tempting. There's no doubt about it. But if I want to delay the inevitability that is my channel getting taken down off of YouTube, monetizing it will speed up that process. No phone calls tonight. No phone calls tonight. This is going to be a laid-back educational episode. If you have questions, ask them in the chat. Speaking of which, let's head there right now. Ryan Sullivan. Pops the cherry. Winston W. Don't know who you are. Good to see you in here. You get the sloppy seconds. JC gets to fuck her in the ass. Tatel gets to finish on her face. And Camden, Camden McGinnis gets to film the whole thing. Shout out to BK from the Rockies. Camden McGinnis wants to know, I have a guest request for the Redman group. Glendon Cameron. I have no idea who the fuck Glendon Cameron is. Guys, stop with the requests. For the Redman Group. If you have a request for the Redman Group, talk to us when we're actually doing the podcast. I don't want to hear about other podcasts while I'm doing my podcast. Love the guy. Listen, love Richard, love Ryan, love Rollo, love all those guys. But this is TSR Live. If you have a if you have a guest request, submit it in the Redman Group. I think. Oh no, we don't even have Redman Group. Um, we don't even have the uh, the Reddit page anymore. They banned, they banned us on Reddit. It took them a while. But yeah, make those requests during the during the during the broadcasts. That would be most that would be most helpful. JC in here. Good to see you in here. Winston W is in the house from Dallas, Texas. Nigel Diggs in Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater Beach is beautiful. I lived on Treasure Island, which was, I don't know, it was a few beaches down from Clearwater Beach. Clearwater, Florida is also where the Phillies have spring training. Ken Ben McGinnis says, so finally we get to see the legendary Devin. No, you don't. <laughs> Dude, Devin's not showing her face on camera. And spell it correctly, D-E-V-O-N. She doesn't spell it like a fucking millennial. JC says, I was going to ask if we were going to get to see Devin dressed like an elf on the show for Christmas. An interview would be better, yes. Yeah, listen, uh, listen. I, I'm never gonna show Devin's face. If you, if listen, if you guys want to see what Devin looks like, come to the 21 convention next year. Obviously, I don't show you what she looks like for her own privacy, for our own privacy, et cetera, et cetera. High profile job, et cetera, et cetera. 
Winston W. says, switching to a plant-based diet lifestyle is a good option. Negative, negative, negative. People who, people who eat plant-based diets have all sorts of health problems. Not that, no, not that other people don't, but dude, a plant-based diet, that's, that's nonsense. That's bullshit. Joby Bloggs is in the house. He is six whiskeys in. Awesome. Miami J. Listening while Christmas shopping. God damn, Miami J. Cutting a little close, ain't you? Bro, it's 510 in the afternoon on Christmas motherfucking Eve. He says, by the way, TRT is that real shit. Absolutely. Shout out to Laura. Oh, wow. Laura Reload. Laura Reload. With a $10 donation, the $10 contribution says, great shows, bud. Appreciate that. Lauro Reloaded. That's a tongue twister. Lauro Reloaded with the $10 contribution. Appreciate that. Again, he did that via the Streamlabs link. Streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp 1. Streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. And the number one. Yolo Maserati says, I went through chemotherapy two years ago and my sex drive has been messed up ever since. Will TRT help? Yes. TRT will definitely, definitely help that. Cameron McGinnis wants to know, what age should a man start TRT? I will answer that momentarily. Ryan Sullivan says, FYI, my forearms hurt from barbell curling. Any pain reliefs? Ibuprofen, man. That's all I can... (laughs) <laughs> Dude, Ryan Sullivan puts in that motherfucking work. JC says, I need TRT. My T levels tested at 375 two months ago. Ooh, 300 nanograms per deciliter, 375 nanograms per deciliter. JC, you're almost a woman, dude. You better start, you better start pinning that glue, homie. Jonathan Gordon making an appearance. Red Beast says Christmas is a pagan festival. Okay, whatever. I like the gifts and the slutty, slutty claws outfits. Sun King says, is TRT allowed in Major League Baseball? No, it is not. It is not. If you have elevated levels of testosterone, then you will be suspended for no less than 80 games. Guys, listen, anabolic steroids are all testosterone-based. This is why you can't be on TRT in baseball because testosterone replacement therapy does make you bigger, faster, stronger. But, and listen, TRT does have anabolic properties. But when you get synthetic lab engineered steroids like Nandrolone, Trenbolone, um, you know, some of the strong shit out there, that's the stuff that will, that's Lee Haney, Ronnie Coleman territory. JC! With the $10 contribution, says Merry Christmas to you and Devin. Thank you, JC, for spelling her name correctly. JC, with the $10 contribution via the streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one link. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, TRT is not allowed in Major League Baseball. I'll give you an example. Regular testosterone. Whatever, and I'm going to go over all this here in just a few minutes. Whatever ester is attached to testosterone, any kind of testosterone. Testosterone has an anabolic level of 100, okay? Trenbolone has an anabolic level of 500. This means it is five times as anabolic as regular testosterone. Trenbolone is testosterone-based, okay? But when they cook it up in the... I don't know how they do it. I'm not a scientist. But the anabolic level for trenbolone is five times that of regular testosterone, and that is why... TRT is not allowed in Major League Baseball. Christopher Mueller, I think, Christopher, do you pronounce your last name Mueller or Miller? He is from Matometi, Minnesota. Ay, ay, ay. Winston W. says, I'm a first-timer to this broadcast. What does TSR mean? It means the sharp reality. Winston, listen, I understand you, 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 you have questions. I have very low tolerance for remedial questions. I don't like dudes. In my chat, asking a bunch of stupid questions. That wasn't a stupid question. Go to my website, DonovanSharp.com, and get caught up. Love it. Okay. Ryan Sullivan says, ho, ho, ho's. Gotta love the whiteboard. Abso-fucking-lutely. 
We're going to get to the good stuff here in just a second, guys. If my regular doctor takes forever, can you recommend a private way to go about TRT? Yes, I can. Am I going to do it here? Nope. Absolutely not. Ryan Sullivan says, no attention whoring women should never be on the TSR, including Devin. <laughs> well, Ryan, listen, unfortunately, you don't get to, you don't, you don't make the rules. You don't make the rules. It's funny, I, I've caught a lot of heat lately. It's actually just one guy. This I don't know who the fuck he is. Can you go one show without talking about Devin? No. No. If I do, you know, it's not an accident or purpose. That's the way it is. The reason I talk about Devin is because I walk the walk and I talk the fucking talk. A lot of everything I teach you guys, I incorporate with Devin. And I use Devin as an example. Ira Young says, Donovan, always on the sharp point. Love the show, dude. Appreciate that. Laro Reloaded says, not hard, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. James Martinez getting my TRT and HGH this week. Thanks, DS. Appreciate that. Shout out to Ronald G21 with the $10 contribution. Says, thanks for your work to change the lives of men. We are taking masculinity back. You're goddamn right we are. You're goddamn right we are. We are taking masculinity back. Very good quote there by Ronald G21 with the $10 contribution via the Streamlabs link again, www.streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. And the number one. James Martinez says, still doing the live show tomorrow at 7. I'm actually going to be doing it at 5. Oh, you know what? I don't know what time I'm doing the show tomorrow. I don't know. I might do it at 7. I might do I might do like a... Um, you know what? That's actually what time I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock. Episode 386 of TSR Live will be in... Um, uh, will be at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Yola Maserati says, will TRT help with ED? Um, it could, it could, it could help with ED. Hypothetically, uh, theoretically, it probably could. <laughs> Ryan Sullivan says, I am so alpha. Seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath uses my semen for steroids. Ryan Sullivan Ryan Sullivan is obviously throwing back a bottle of the kettle of the of the of the um of the uh, kettle one. <laughs> That's funny. James Martinez says, "Finally got my stuff from the site. It took three weeks. I was nervous. Yeah, from the site that I recommend, it takes two to three weeks." Joby Blog says, don't talk about your girlfriend when discussing relationships. Clearly, having a partner is irrelevant when discussing relationships. <laughs> JLI15 says, I'm 21 and I try my best to get eight hours of sleep and try intermittent fasting to keep my tea level, my tea in good levels. Dude, you're 21. Your tea levels are going to be fine no matter how much sleep you get, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Spin Z wants to know, are there clinics I can go to? I can use for TRT where I pay out of pocket. Yes, there are. They are not back alley or illegal. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get right to this. First of all, I need to make this disclaimer. Of course, you guys all knew this was coming. I am not a doctor. This is not, this is not medical advice, nor is it intended to be. The information in this video is based on my own personal experiences, experience, the experiences of others I have spoken to and research I have done on my own. Always consult a licensed physician before starting a testosterone replacement therapy regimen. So Armando Moreno asks a very good question, which dovetails into what I'm going to talk about first. Okay. What are the signs that you need TRT? Well, I'm going to talk about the practical things first. You shouldn't, if you are under the age of 30, you should not start testosterone replacement therapy. If you're between the ages of 30 and 35, I would get my blood levels checked. Shout out to Freelance Ronin with the $5 contribution. Says, happy holidays, my friend. Continue success. The red pill saves lives. T um, Freelance Ronin, the original TSR OG. 
the original TSR Jeep, TSR OG. But if you are over the if you are over the age of 35 or your testosterone is either at or below or somewhere near 400 nanograms per deciliter, you need TRT. Now, what are some of the signs you need testosterone replacement therapy? Shout out to Winston Wolf with the $5 contribution. Says, no days off, player like the playoffs. Thanks for keeping it stacked. Keeping keeping it a stack during the holidays, too. Hey, my pleasure, man. My pleasure. Listen, man, I work holidays. I work holidays. The, the, the schedule might be a little bit different, but I will be on the air Christmas Day. I'll be on the air New Year's Day. I was on the air Thanksgiving Day. That's how it goes. The, the signs you need TRT are pretty obvious. You're not sleeping well. Your sex drive is low. You're feeling kind of depressed. You're feeling lethargic. And you're fatigued. There are many more signs, but those are the main ones. Those are the main ones. So again, if you're over 35 or your testosterone is below, at near or below, 400 nanograms per deciliter, it is my recommendation. I'm not a doctor. You need TRT. Don't do it. If you're in your 20s or you just want an edge. Okay. JLife15 says, yeah, you're right, bro, but I'm kind of obsessed with making sure I have good tea. Dude, you have no- To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.